Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to start off with one of my favorite foundations. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and I'm just applying that and blending it into the skin with a damp beauty blender. I love this because it is a velvet matte finish and it's great for my oily skin. I'm going to be mixing two concealers. This is the Milani Cosmetics Concealer Perfect. And then I'm going to go in with the Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer in the inner parts of the eye. This is in the shade Nude. And I like mixing both just because it gives me an overall full coverage but yet brightens up under the eyes. I'm going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and blend this product out. I love using this tool because it just really melts all of the product into the skin and kind of picks up any excess product in case you put too much. I'm also going to be concealing my eyes with this and using it as my um, eyeshadow primer. Both of these concealers do such an amazing job of covering up any imperfections that you might have or discoloration. That's why I love mixing both of them. I'm going to go in with a cream contour. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Chestnut. Also going to apply that and blend that out with the um, butt part of the Beauty Blender. I'm going to set my whole face with a Cover FX Matte Setting Powder and I'm just going to start off by applying that underneath the eyes and I'm going to let that sit while I do my eyes. That way if I get any fallout, I can just kind of blend it away. I'm going to go in with the Dream Palette from Sigma and Beauty Bird. If you don't follow her on Instagram, she is amazing. I love her. I'm going to go in with the shade right here and apply that as my transition shade. This is my first time using this palette and these shadows are so pigmented, pigmented and they blend out so nicely with each other. This is a really pretty orange creamsicle color and I'm just obviously blending that out in wiper motions and circular motions at the same time. Picking up this next shade, it is a really pretty dark mauve color and I'm just going to apply that on the outer part of the eye. I ended up, I didn't know what look I was going to do so I'm just kind of playing with it. So I'm going to end up applying it on the outer corners in the crease as well as the inner corner crea creating a halo look with this. When using pigmented dark shades like this for the crease area, I do like to take a tapered blending brush and just kind of tap on the product and kind of draw out a little bit of where I'm going to apply it. And then I'll go in and just work on blending and building up the intensity and blending everything out again. I felt the shake me into Why did darkness Going in with a more dense brush, picking up that same shade that I applied in the crease and I'm just going to pack it on, make sure that it is nice and pigmented and then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and blend those two shades together. For the lid, I'm going in with this beautiful color, it's like a gold bronzy look and I did wet my brush, it is a MAC 242, I love this brush for applying shimmer shades on the lid, especially when you get that wet as well. I'm also going to take my ring finger and just blend the edges out. I didn't pick up any additional product, I'm just using this brush to blend the crease and outer edges. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and then apply my false lashes. These are in the style Missy from the Nova Lash. I do have a discount code for you if you wanted to use it and try it. They are amazing and I get like a good 10 uses out of these lashes. I'm going to finish off the under eye by smoking it out with the same shades that I used in the crease. I really love adding shadows to the lower lash line. I just feel that it completes the whole eye look. So 
So it looks like she added two highlight shades to the ends of the palette. I'm going to go in with this one and just apply that in the inner corner for a pop of highlight and then put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to finish off the face. I'm going to add warmth back to my skin by using the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer. I love this. It is called Totally Tan and it is not matte. It has like little gold specks in it just to give you that nice warmth bronze look. I love this peach blush from Too Faced Cosmetics. It also has a hint of shimmer, so it is really pretty when you like turn your face and you get that really nice dimension. For a highlight, I'm gonna use the two shades that are in the palette, this one and this one right here. I'm just applying that with a small blending tapered blush, or brush, I'm sorry, and applying that on the cheekbones. It is really pigmented and it's just a really nice glow. I'm just going to contour my nose really quick using the Too Faced mm, Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. I love this because it's not too red and it just kind of adds a little bit of dimension to my nose. I'm going to set my whole face with the Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. And finishing off with a lipstick. This is Dose of Colors Aesthetic and this is from the collection that I Love Sari came out with a while back. And that completes this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to comment and like down below. Thanks guys, see you next time.